eight men in this men's 1500 meter final. There'll be 12 athletes in this field. Here we go, on the, on the line. Men's 1500 meter championship. Josh Kerr in the middle of the track, your collegiate record holder. Going for the conference double this weekend. Hit one on the inside is Sam Coleman. The fastest uh, prelim time actually belongs to Brody Smith of Utah State. He ran 354.13 in the prelim. So we're gonna run through the names again. Coleman of Utah State, Jordan of Boise State, DeHaven of Boise State, Smith of Utah State, Kerr of New Mexico, Loudenslager of Boise State, Rafala of Boise State, Rockhold of Colorado State, Crow Wright of New Mexico, Richardson of Boise State, Sullivan of Air Force, and Golly of Boise State. They came through about 44 mid, maybe 44 high, through that opening 300. So hip four leading the charge. Again, that's Brody Smith. He had the fastest prelim time coming into this. They're coming through the opening 400 and about 60 flat. Some jostling in the middle there. Kerr trying to get on the outside. It's pretty tight, pretty tightly bunched there. Josh Kerr trying to find a little bit of real estate so he doesn't get boxed in. And you can see that slew of orange there, the six Broncos. Trying to work together here. Again, that was Brody Smith out of Utah State moving well. Uh, and then it's Cole Rockhold for Colorado State. Rockhold in second there. This is a really tight bunch right now. Some of these guys have to come back for the 800. They're 148 there with 200 meter, or excuse me, two laps to go. Some of these guys trying to conserve energy here. There's a big, uh, big last 400 in one of the prelims yesterday. They came through in 204, so much slower, much slower second lap there. And now we're gonna see things shake up a little bit. Hip nine, that's Wright, I believe. Wright's got some good wheels. He's way out there on the outside, out there in lane three right now. And we're about four wide across the track. And Kerr now to the front officially. We've all been waiting for it here. It's Kerr and Wright. The two Lobos setting the tone. Then it's Rockhold on Chase. Kerr, Wright, Rockhold. And behind them is Smith. And then moving up well is the Bronco crew. Starting to ramp it up here. So let's see if we can get a split. On this final lap, 248, 249, 250, about 250 mid. Kerr and Wright leading this thing. So remember, 250 mid is what they hit the final bell in. Looks like Rockhold's gonna try to go with. Kerr, Wright, Rockhold. Is anybody gonna challenge the collegiate record holder down the back stretch? His teammates looking pretty strong here. Rockhold is too. Don't forget, Colorado State is in that team contention here. 317-ish, 317 mid, I'd say, with 200 meters to go. These guys have separated themselves. DeHaven leading the chase pack there. Addison DeHaven getting some nice separation and trying to close that gap. Into the home stretch here. He's at 332. Kerr trying to power away and setting the table to possibly double this weekend. Josh Kerr, and right now, battling. Gonna try to get you a split here. Josh Kerr wins that thing easily in about 354, or excuse me, 344. And I had 53. I had 53.9 on that close. That might have been a little jellious. Might have been a little generous, but I had 53.9 on that close. Whew. Kerr and Wright and Rockholt went to the well there. A nice battle over that last 400. And Kerr setting this the table there. DeHaven did hold on to fourth there. He rolls 348.